Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the Parthia campaign. I think this is part four, I hope I'm right. Um, it's been a while since I recorded so just trying to remember. Um, oh yes, our allies Dahai, 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 Dahai I call them, they took Bukhara and they're now besieging Mar Marakanda. We took Karth but we liberated it and I decided to take my army and march them to help them out. So I remember where I am now. So I think we could end turn. Um, ten units there. Probably need some more spearmen. Just get two more spearmen there. We'll end turn. Oh! Ekruzaki. Who the hell is that? Right. Over here. The Creed. Household. Bluesy, plus five morale. I'll go with the armor and I will go with zeal. And we can finally end turn um, and see how things go. So I hope you're all enjoying my YouTube series of Total War Rome 2. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm really starting to get into my Carthia. Uh, Carthia? <laughs> Just. Oh, what's this? My allies declared war on slaves. I will enter war with ally. I'm ally attack the grass as slaves. Enter war on side of ally, of course. That was weird. Yeah, I'm really. I what did I say then? Carthia. I've just I just um, merged Carthage and Parthia together. I'm enjoying my Carthage campaign. That's what I meant to say. Um, it's gone really well so far. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's gone really well. It took me a while to get used to it. It's taken me about five parts to actually work out how the game goes in this particular Total War game, but. I am starting to get a hang of it, and I am starting to make progress. That's what I'm trying to say. And this campaign, we're only, what, four parts in? Five, five parts in? Four parts, I think it is. And, um, you know, I'm starting to work out. I haven't taken Karth, I've got an ally, and I'm, it's starting to shape up, you know, the first kind of t few turns, it's like, oh my god, what the hell am I supposed to do? Do I attack them? If I do, will I be, will I be attacked from there? And you don't work out what's best for your faction and for your family. Well. The family part is something I am a bit confused with, to be honest with you. I have no idea how to avoid civil war. Um, it seems whatever I do, I keep losing influence in my state. So I'd actually wouldn't mind if you guys leave me a comment and let me know what's the best thing to do to actually stop civil war in this game. How would you gain influence rather than lose it? Because I just lose influence all the time. No matter what I do, I can take four, five, six provinces, I can destroy nations, I can amass an insane amount of wealth and it just does not help at all. So, war target invalid. Thanks to recent. Um, have they taken? They've taken it. Oh, very, very well done indeed. I need to be reinforcing how may I These guys, Masagatai. Are Masagatai at war with our allies? I should probably check diplomacy. And our allies are the Dahai, Satrapies, Khorasami. Here they are, Khorasami. Do not wander in like a desert. Oh, they're actually beggar. at war with Masigata. Bactria like and the slaves. We got the satrapy. Can I demand payment from them, I wonder? No. That's a shame. I thought I'd get more with them being a satrapy. I don't really want to move my. my uh, what am I going to say? Oh, they're over there, mind. They're on the border. I don't want to leave Karth undefended. Which is why. Do I keep this army here? Do I march them to Bactria? Uh, decisions. I am going to keep my army march. close to Karth in case they come back to to attack. Oh, this is one of their agents. I'm going to start building a second army here. Oh, may I this army march, can actually yeah. reinforce. Uh, we have some skills. Zeal, six campaign movement. That'll do. A bit more movement will do me. My Lord. 12 units, quite a bit of infantry, some slingers. Some more horsemen now, so we have skirmishers and horse archers. I love some horse archers, Come thank you very much. Ranks. We get three of them. Oh, cavalry as well. A couple of them, and that army can then proceed to 
to this kind of region to help out against Bactria. I can try and take some of these provinces as well. My spy is over here. A man, his main can we attack him? Can we sabotage him? Uh, not very good. What about assassination? Not very good as well. We'll keep our money this turn then. Um, just looking around to see the possibilities of expansion. We have a little bit of money at the moment, so we'll enter in. Oh, technology again. The best feature of the game is reminding you about the technology. Okay, so three turns will give us income and wealth. That will certainly do the treat for me. I tend to go for the, the civil technologies in my campaigns. I like to make sure that my my um, provinces, my settlements, are well looked after to begin with. Make sure that they got all the upgrades they can get. I find that it does help a little bit with the with the population happiness because if you if if slums appear, for example, that will give minus six for squalor. I think if you build a port, that will give like minus six for squalor. And before you know it, oh, we seek trade and I like the look of this all. trade. I am sure that you can, can we, see that in your noble wisdom. Uh, I'll just accept. Thank you very much. I've never seen this in my life in Rome Total War. A nation actually ask for trade. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I'm going to have to be aware of these Bactrians on the border. At the moment I'm thinking about helping out my other allies. If we all stick together for as long as possible, then we've got a good chance to take all of this. As you can see, they're absolutely destroying Bactria. Jesus. Good God, I can't get over this. My allies have just completely destroyed Bactria, those Bactrian armies. And as you can see, I'm a bit reluctant at the moment to move my army in the north. I want to keep them there as long as possible. I may actually use this army now with the cursor is and go north and take a northern settlement. Because they got Masigetai have an army right on the border. Oh, and they've been attacked and they've been pushed back. Now I see a big possibility for a battle here. Which I think I may engage. Oh, they've moved. I was gonna say if they stayed there, I could have attacked them and my allies probably would have helped me out, but unfortunately they skipped over the border. That's no longer a possibility. I could attack with these are my allies here. I could perhaps move this army now and try and take Akto near the Black Sea. I think that's what I may do. We will find out now when this end turn finishes. Agent exposed. Plague. Yeah, that's a shame. Okay, so we skip all that. Uh, I have a, a decent sized army here. One more turn for my for my horses, my cavalry. Population, oh god, minus five, they don't like me. Can we actually upgrade anything at the moment? We can't. Uh, that's okay for now, it's got a while yet until they rebel. They've, they've more or less cleared up around here in these provinces, so I'm going to leave them for now. I think I might go north and try and expand north with my full stack, well, we near full stack you, army. Actually, still replenish him, but I think we'll be okay. So I can take them to the border, which is what I intend to do, into Scythian territory. For and I'm going to actually go straight for Masigetai. Can we at war with them? Because we've defended this area now in that last turn. I'm just going to go straight through and try and take Akto. That will give us, it should give us a port, I imagine. I imagine they have a port around here somewhere. Which will help me with trade and stuff like that, and, and actually finding other factions on the campaign. The Brotherhood. One more turn, and then I can move these to the east. Probably try and take Bactra itself, and then uh, I can't say Ukradea. Ukradea. Try and take Ukradea. I think that's all the Bactrian provinces. So they've done pretty well, my allies. They've actually taken these two provinces. I want to take one of these myself, unfortunately. They went in there and got in there before me, but we'll end turn again. Making sure I have money left over in the treasury as well every turn. In case I am um, attacked by a nation, it gives me a chance to hire mercenaries quickly to bolster my forces if necessary. But how are you guys finding this game? Are you, are you finding it laggy after the update? So you finding it um, unresponsive? Do you have many stories with, the, with bad AI? 
let me know in the comments. I have actually had a few bad experiences with the AI. I've been attacked on a couple of occasions by one ship or two ships. In my latest um, Carthage part, Syracuse, after nearly being wiped out, decided to attack me with one ship. So there are a few occasions where they do tend to do stupid things. Um, I find that... Oh! Army declares war. I like declares war, I should say. On the slaves. I don't, thought I've already done this. Enter war and ally. Ally attacked. Enter war side of ally. I've already done that once. Bit strange. Oh well. And the other thing as well, how are you guys finding the the whole performance on your systems, on your computers after the the updates from Creative Assembly? This current part which I'm recording is actually um, 1.5. The update 1.5. They got a second update coming up pretty soon. So probably the part after this of this Parthia campaign will be running the, the new um, update from Creative Assembly. And Parthaver, they demand 400, okay. A lamp sum would ensure his good they own two provinces. They're at war with so many nations though, they'll be wiped out instantly. But some trade for now. Keep all the southern states happy and expand north. I think that's my game plan for the time the time being. Um, but as you can see, we have kind of got a game plan now. We're trying to see, we can sort of see where we're, where we're aiming to go for, what we're aiming to go for. Uh, please go I can ignore most of this. Okay, so my southern army now, I think, can probably move. I could go south and perhaps wait war in the south, but I'd rather go east and consolidate my actual my actual faction. Oh, why are they going to the lands? Uh, I have to sweeten the deal with these guys now. Who are they? Move. Aria. They're quite happy as well with me, but they're un look at that minus twenty five straight away. Stupid, stupid. The pleasures of my household are yours to enjoy. First, though, I will offer you some money. Of diplomacy. There you go. That should get, make you guys quite happy with me. Uh, it's made him a bit happier. Yeah, this giving me plus twenty-four, just to sweeten the deal slightly. Unfortunately, I, I, that's one thing I hate. I clicked over there, and really, the pathfinding should make me go around and not actually trespass. So, you know, I shouldn't have to baby my army to move here and then here. Oh, don't get me started. It's just so many things I dislike at the moment. How may I, say I don't want my allies to take this. I want to take this myself. I'm fed up of, of being second best at the moment. I'm trying to get some of these provinces. Um... It's my army there. Unfortunately, I'm trespassing. I could actually wage war on these guys, but why would I? All they'll say in that, they're going to get wiped out here. If they get wiped out here, I'll attack them there. Let's just double check something. Who are their allies? They got no allies, actually. I could probably take that province in that case. Okay, something to consider for next time. Looks like they're going to lose this province here. I may as well attack them and move and take move straight away. Okay, we'll enter. That's something to think about. I can actually take my first province properly in this campaign. It borders my current me. province. It's not well defended, and there are other provinces already being besieged by somebody else. I think I probably will attack them. We will just wait and see what happens now in this end turn. Before going for the Bactrians, I'll actually go for this province first. I can actually consolidate this province. Um, can I need provinces? I've only got the one province at the moment. Merv have just moved a force out by the looks of it to go south. Um, yeah, I think I'll may as well take this. I want to consolidate all my borders to begin with. 
At the moment, Parthava are trading with me in the south. Bactria are at war with me in the east, but my allies are doing a very good job against them. And I've taken two of their settlements. I have an ally in the north, so as you can see, I'm well defended at the moment. I'm making sure I don't overstep, I'm making sure I get plenty of allies. I'm not just rushing and wage war with everybody. But we'll wait and see now what happens at the end of this end turn phase. I think I can probably go for Aria. My allies have taken that province, as you can see, so I don't know what I'm doing in the north, to be honest with you, at the moment. I seem to be second best at everything. I'm trying to get uh, other settlements. Nope, the reinforcements have arrived. If they take Karth, mind, with that army, I could t retake Karth and actually hold it for myself. Which is probably what I'll do. Path favour. My lord and his chairman. They want 130 coins. In a denarii. What do you and a non aggression say? pact. I say thank you very much. I think anything they, they can offer. I could ask them to join war. They don't want the satrapy, do they? I'm gonna ask them anyway. Well, I'll do because I'm going to pay the money this time. That works in my favour. Well, it works better than what they offered me, so I don't actually have to pay them. But they could be wiped out. They're at war with everyone at the moment. If I can build a strong Eastern Parthia Empire, I can then eventually go for the big guns in this campaign, Egypt and the Seleucid Empire. But it's baby steps at the moment. We're just we find our ground. We're building armies and hopefully we can actually do well in this campaign for some reason it's frozen on Syracus hopefully we can get out of this pretty soon yes there we go we're off Syracus now increase in rank that's good faction encountered Thysigetai okay so first things first we will check Thysigetai where they are they're quite neutral towards us. They don't like our culture. They're at war with Roxolani and slaves. Greetings, friend. We can't trade Let with them. Our time together An and aggression pact. And see. That will do to begin with. I don't want to fight them. They don't want to fight me. It's a good start. Right. Move. Have they lost in the south? It looks like they've lost in the south. Move. I can, right, I'm definitely going to wage war on these guys now. Let's just double check one last time. Aria. No military allies. Right, that's what I wanted to know. I will take Aria then. The Brotherhood. My Lord. Declare war. Okay, maybe I won't declare war. <laughs> How many allies have they got? It's because they're a satrapy of the Seleucids. Persia, Media. They're not far away, they go. They're down there. Drangyana are down there. Uh, Persia are not near us. Over here somewhere, I think. Put down there, Persia. Too far to worry me at the moment. Media, too far to worry me as well. Okay, I'm going to declare war. Call my allies to help. i got a lot more enemies now. And I could take... I actually, I think I will... Uh, author resolve this. Let's see, 95, 97. Go with balance stance. There we go. That's the end of them. And we've taken our first province, which we will occupy. So raise, loot, occupy. Increase in rank. Forsaken by their masters. So they're no longer under the satrapy of the Seleucids. The more times they lose, um, provinces. The more times they lose their satrapies, the harder it becomes for them. Okay, so we can go with the uh, tradition. Defense. Four shots, four siege weapons. Damage inflicted. I'll go with missile because I got a lot of horse archers. The general can have a floozy now and he can be... whoops. I'll go with cunning and we can also get another one but here. Warfare plus seal. Assassination. Authority. Cops, minus 10% cost. I'll go with that one. 
that makes things slightly better for us here. We have taken Merv, and we now have a border to our other province, Nisa. We also have many allies nearby. These guys, oh, they're a uh, area, but they, who's to the south of us? Um, I probably should open up some sort of trade with this southern state. They're quite happy with us as well, and they can trade, so we'll see if they will trade. In my lord's name, it's be quite low. And may the Not blessings of the gods bring you the I'll offer you some payment day. as well. Nope. Okay. What about non-aggression pack then? Not low as well. We may have to clear them out eventually. But we've made progress, and we have two provinces now. My army here can probably recruit another spear unit, it's just in case, because you never know. To fight for our um, this army in the north needs to attack somebody. I'm going to bring these guys back wish. now. I think the north, the I don't have to worry about the north. My allies are doing pretty well. If these guys, I hope these guys take Kath, because I can take Kath for myself. And I'm actually bordering my other allies on two fronts. But I think I'm going to end the episode there. So to quickly recap, we've taken Merv and we have two provinces now in the south. We have allies. Our allies doing well, our clients they doing well. Dahe, Amul, Bukhara and Markanda. Bactria looking really weak now, only two provinces left. And that's going to be our aim to take Bactria. Our army in the north is coming down to Kath. If Kath gets taken here by the Khorasami, we will take Khorasami and take Kath for ourselves. But if not, we'll just take this out this army anyway and bring this army of ours down to the south to help in the war against um, Bactria. And in the south, things start to develop. We will soon be seeing more of the map. We do have some enemies down here now. But that's good. That's it for now for this episode. So I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, goodbye.